Well, I've been interested in Montserrat for years because I've heard these great stories from Tom Coote and other faculty members who've been coming down here for a long time doing fascinating research with students. And we've seen great student thesis projects come out of Montserrat. And I'm interested in the Caribbean, but I've never been to the Caribbean. And um, I mean, I've been in field conditions in really interesting places in Honduras and in the Yucatan Peninsula in Guatemala um, and but I've never been in in the Caribbean what I've been trying to do is understand the relationship between climate and vegetation so I've been doing drone work and photography uh, in different ecosystems or vegetation assemblages around the island and um, working with a student uh, to understand which species are the uh, kind of best indicators or most important um, species for those vegetation assemblages. And so that's one part of it. And then the second part of it is trying to understand how rapidly these, these ecosystems are undergoing succession. Understanding how how rapidly they're changing. And so talking to local people of their life, lifetimes, you know, in 60 years, in 50 years, they're telling us things like areas where we hike through rainforests, mesic rainforests, um, they'll say, well, when I was little, this was farmland. And so when you hear that and you're in the field with them and you see really big trees, you realize that the vegetation in some places is changing really rapidly. So the typical day as a faculty member in Montserrat, in my case, means um, planning for a big hike in the Center Hills <laughs> or planning to go off to Rendezvous Bay for snorkeling, making sure that the students uh, have enough water, sunscreen, food, etc. So it's, um, it's never boring, you know, the landscapes are rugged and beautiful, the forests uh, and other vegetation assemblages here are fascinating. They have everything to do with the very specific climate types on the island. And so uh, as a geographer, it's my days are spent trying to understand that relationship between climate and biogeography um, with students in the field.